Literally all I did was adjust the tripod and I cannot breathe. <laughs> I'm eight months pregnant, almost nine months pregnant. So that explains the non-breathing. But hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, this is a weird video and you shouldn't do it. But that's just my anxiety talking because the house is still not a mess, but a mess. It's not done. We are still organizing. We're still finding what works for us. Still decorating, of course, because these things take time. I don't want to rush these things. I don't want to rush to buy pieces. I would rather them stumble upon us and we fall in love. We have had some exciting developments happen in the home. Um, some new things, whether it be like decor or furniture. Um, the main thing being the new couch. <laughs> I realized that I told you guys I was getting a new couch on Instagram and then I never showed it. And um, I mean, it's not that exciting, but I get so many DMs about, let us, I want to see the new couch. So I was like, oh, let me do a house update video because we have had some exciting things and some really good home goods finds and all that stuff and whatever I can link I will but so just know this is not a house like tour nothing is done which you'll see because it's still you know corners and piles of messes as we decide what we want where um, but we have gotten some things for the front room and this is all downstairs stuff the only thing that's like up to par upstairs is the nursery and I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that, which it's done and it's so cute and I'm so excited. But since the last time we, I think I've, I've shown the house and like when we first moved in, I can link that up in the corner. Just wanna give you some updates. So we'll do that today. And of course Ludo will be joining us as well. What are you doing? Also, I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. You guys know that I love Skillshare so much. It is a website that I truly do love and use all the time. So let's switch into voiceover mode to learn more about that. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is an online learning community kind of geared towards creative subjects. So whether you want to explore a new passion or deepen a love for something that you're already into, like gardening or cooking, they have classes on a ton of stuff. My very favorite thing to watch on Skillshare are of course gardening videos. You guys know that I have kind of just completely dived, dove, grammar, into the gardening world and now having our own garden beds in our backyard. I'm just trying to learn as much as I can about growing tomatoes or growing peppers and just trying to soak in as much information as I can. And Skillshare has been amazing for that. But they truly have so many classes for so many different things. Like I said, gardening, cooking, home design classes on minimalism, art classes. I've taken some watercolor classes for my iPad. If you're into cameras, they have photography and videography classes. They just have something for everyone and it's super fun. And I love how user-friendly it is. It's very go at your own pace. All of the classes have chapter breakdowns. So if you need to stop the class and come back at a later time, it's easy to find your place. Or if you just wanna revisit a chapter to revisit something you learned. As you'll see later in this vlog, we are diving into the homemade pizza world. So I saved a bunch of classes on how to make pizza dough and just better homemade pizzas. So I'm excited to watch those and make Bradley watch them too. So yeah, I love Skillshare. If you're interested in trying it at all, the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring. And if you do, please let me know which classes you take because I'm nosy and I wanna know. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and get into the house updates. Okay, okay, Ludo, you're ruining my set. <laughs> So this is the front room. I do have you on a tripod just to try and make this uh, like less sickening for you. Um, but the front door is right there. And yes, we have a piano. That's one of the most exciting things. But this was the room we didn't know most what to do with. Also, don't mind the corner of baby stuff. The stroller, the car seat. <laughs> We're ready. We just don't know where to put those things for now. So we put them in here. So this is the entertainment system from my apartment, as you know. I love this piece of furniture and I don't really want to get rid of it. Um, I know it's made for a TV and we're not, I don't want a TV in here. I think that's not necessary, but I love this piece of furniture and it fits so well on that wall. I think I do want to paint it once we get a little more settled in here, but I just love this piece of furniture so much. The storage is incredible and I just, I don't know, I feel attached to it and I love it and I would be so sad to get rid of it. So if you have any ideas of what we could do in the center to fill up where the TV goes, obviously like a bigger plant maybe. A friend suggested adding a shelf in there, but the back is too flimsy to add a shelf in. So if you have any ideas, let us know. But um, yeah, so that's been living back there and I love that piece of furniture. Like I said, I don't wanna get rid of it. Then we got these chairs, which whenever I share these on Instagram, these were a steal from TJ Maxx. They were $100. 
They're not the greatest quality of chairs, but we didn't care so much because this is just kind of going to be kind of like the sitting room. Actually, let me tell you, we decided that we're going to call this room the parlor because it just feels very fancy now with the piano and <laughs> I don't know. We just wanted to call it that. I wanted to call it that and everybody else is on board. Everybody else meaning Bradley. But so we originally had these chairs kind of over here. I'll show you this furniture piece in a second. But I think now what we want to do, I'm stepping into frame, you can see my ginormous stomach. We're probably gonna have to move these forward, but we would like like a love seat, like a smaller couch in the back. Obviously there's still enough room so you can get behind it to go to, and you can see my slippers too. <laughs> Obviously with enough, enough room to get behind it because we do have stuff stored in that um, furniture piece. But we kind of wanted everything directed towards the piano. So if we can find a love seat to fit with this, I think it would be really cool. This rug, I love, but it's from Home Depot and I do not love Home Depot and I do not support Home Depot. And I, <laughs> I don't want to like not tell you where something's from and I will link it, but I just want you to know I am unimpressed with Home Depot and their customer service and we don't shop there anymore, but that is where the rug is from. And then, like I said, we have a piano now. A family friend was getting rid of this piano which I think this piano is actually gorgeous. We want to paint the bench because it doesn't match the piano, but I think that would also just be fun anyway. But this is like Bradley's ideal piano that he wanted and we ended up getting it for free from a family friend, so it was incredible. It works beautifully. Bradley really, really wanted a piano. We moved into a house just because he wants to be able to play. We would both love it if our son took, we're not gonna force him of course, but if our son took up interest, that would be awesome. Um, and I just, I love the detailing on the front and it's just so beautiful. And the way this opens is so cool. Like so fun. I only know how to play Deck the Halls. Probably get copyrighted for that. But yeah, I, we are loving having the piano and I just, I think now it's gonna make the room like fancier, which is why we're calling it the parlor. And then over here, we just have some stuff on top that needs homes. This was one of the furniture finds we found at Home Goods. I almost said Home Depot again. No, Home Goods. I am obsessed with it. It is an exact dupe for an anthropology nightstand they have on sale, but we got it for way, way less, like I think under $200. It would be a great nightstand, but I love it for in here. Just the detail on it is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see the gold pegs. It's just so beautiful. And it fits so nice. It's, it's a little not in the center of the two windows, but it fit perfectly right in the center there. So we have it in here. Who knows if it'll stay in here, but I just, I love this furniture piece. And then we still, uh, we've hung some stuff, but we, uh, a lot of the stuff I'm waiting to hang until we get, you know, a better feel and everything sorted in the room because, you know, hanging things should be your last step in accordance to where your furniture is. But we do want to hang the welcome sign for our wedding. This is the drawing of our wedding venue that Bradley did, which I love, which also I think fits in the parlor. But yeah, that is a look, oh, Louie's right there, at the parlor. So let's move on. Kate, now we're in the dining room. I switched to my handheld camera because it's just a little bit easier. Nothing much going on in here. We did get this score from Home Goods. I found this in the sale section for $40. I don't know if you can like tell how big it is, but it's huge and I'm obsessed with it. This was the little black piece that was behind the couch in our apartment. We painted it this, I think it's Valspar mauve color and I think it's gonna end up in my office. I don't think it's gonna stay here. I'd like something bigger for here, like a buffet type situation. But for now we call this the plant room because it has excellent light. So all the plants that we don't have homes for yet are living in here. I also scored this mirror at Home Goods for 25 bucks and I'm obsessed with it and it looks like those are the same color, but they're not. We painted that, that came that color. This was also a black plant stand that we got at Walmart for $15. It was like a smaller dupe for my favorite anthropology plant stand that was expensive. And we just spray painted it this like mint green color and I love the way it looks. I think that plant is gonna go in my office. Again, we have more plants just lined up on the windowsill to get light until they have a home. We have things that we need to figure out where we're gonna hang them. We have the Mama Roo ready for baby. We also moved this piece of furniture in here. It's my favorite piece of furniture I own. And it still just has like decoration stuff, Halloween and Christmas and then candles. And then in here I'm going to keep linens for, you know, tablecloths, napkins, tea towels, all that kind of stuff. I have another shelf, which we have one right there in the kitchen. I'll give you a look at that in a second. And I think I want to put it above this and then maybe a mirror above that. I'm not sure. But again, we need a, we can't find the right light for the fiddly fig, so it's just in here for now. 
more things to hang. We did, however, hang my favorite wedding gift, which was this like where our, what was it say, the stars aligned and your story began. So it's like a map of the stars on our wedding day and the location and all that. So that's fun. Not much to show in the kitchen, but I will show you this, which you've seen before. I scored this shelf at home goods for 20 bucks and i'm obsessed with it we just have some plants that cute little anthropology honey bear and then this cute print i got on etsy um and i love this shelf i love it a lot oh and i'll show you my tea towels because i'm obsessed this ruffle one is from urban outfitters i love it it's like a i don't know like a puke yellow green but i love the ruffle and then i got this tomato one i had to have it from anthropology and i slapped them together and i was like yes love that kitchen is slightly a mess right now because we're washing bottles and trying to organize all the baby stuff, so don't look at that. But we did get bar stools. That on the counter is a tomato that we grew that Bradley picked. <laughs> but we got these bar stools at Cost Plus and I love them. They're very comfortable. I We lucked out and the wood like matches the floor perfectly. I love the gray. They were pretty affordable, easy to put together. And so far we are just totally loving them. And I, I don't know, I love the vibes. It goes with the kitchen and then with our new couch. So this, is the new glorious couch. This, and uh, you guys, there's a lot of crap around, but just focus on <laughs> the main prize, which is the couch. This is um, the Bob's, I always wanna say burgers, the Bob's <laughs> furniture <laughs> um, knockoff of the cloud couch made by Restoration Hardware, which is wildly expensive. So this is their dupe for it. It's coming off a little bit lighter on the camera than it is in real life. It's like a really nice navy color. Um, don't mind my dog. <laughs> this chair is not staying here, but if you know, Ludo likes to, as you can tell, nap under it. And we had it over in this corner and he couldn't fit under it. He couldn't find his way and he was very sad. And so for now, we just have it over here so that he can still fit. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. We're kind of stressed about it. It's a mess, but we moved this table that used to be in our entryway of the old apartment over there and I like it. We just gotta clean it up. Oh. Um, and I want to repaint it. I'm into repainting everything because it makes such a difference and it's so easy and fun. But yeah, this is the couch. What's it called, honey? The dream couch. The dream couch. So it's very just like plush. Like it's like literally laying on a cloud. It's a very like you want comfortable couch. Like it's not the sturdiest of couches. It's for like reclining and laying down and it's incredible. Would you like to come demonstrate? Um, this pillow I just recently got from Urban Outfitters. I love it. This Ludo pillow was a gift from Bradley from Etsy. We've, I've had that cactus pillow forever. I don't remember where we got it. Bradley's not going to demonstrate how comfortable the couch is. <laughs> It's kind of uncomfortable for me so far just because I have a really hard time moving around in pregnancy, uh, but Bradley is just living his best life. <laughs> Bradley is loving it. Ludo loves it. Oh, Ludy. It's hard to get up from, which we knew. It is It is hard to get up from. And I can- sinking feeling that like- I can like keep updating you as, I mean, once I'm not pregnant and I can like actually use my core and my hips and my pelvis, I'll let you know. But it is very comfortable and I love the way it looks and it's huge. Like it, it fills out this room you just don't know what to do with the chair. really well. The chair is just kind of like in the way, which it's been there for so long now I'm kind of used to it, but I don't want to leave it there. Um, I liked it in the corner, you didn't. <sighs> no, I didn't like it in the corner. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to keep this rug or get a different one. I definitely want to move it. Works. This. Yeah, it works with it. I definitely want to move it a bit under. Actually, yeah, especially with a baby, I don't think we should get a new rug in here. <laughs> I like it where it is right now. Perfectly in line with like each corner. Hmm, I don't know. I could use some work. Then over here, some more crap. We just got this bed from Costco. Ludo loves it. Um, but yeah, we just need to figure out where everything's going. The basket of blankets might not even stay. We have Bluto's basket of toys. We are gonna get new curtains because the um, previous owners left these, but as you can see, they don't really do anything. And I think they are cute. And I do like the black rods. We'll just get new curtains. Bradley's really sucked into bring Here's it on. The part I was interested in is like, who comes up with a routine? Do they come up with a routine that's like from all different styles? Like, oh, we took a swing class and we took Yeah, they're, they're studying everything to make their choreography as fresh as can be. So they had the capability the whole time to come up with their own material. It was a, it was within them all along. Got it. Okay, this is also a mess. Our whole life is a mess. But we got this piece of furniture. Honey, could you close the cabinet so they can see? From Home Goods, in which we bought a piece of furniture from Wayfair and ended up being a piece of shit. And they sent the wrong piece, and then they sent the wrong piece I don't know again. That was a piece of shit. 
they just, yeah. We nice, didn't have to build this, which was incredible. That was a nice shot of your ass. Basically, the Wayfair piece didn't work out. It was a big old pain in my ass. It's a little crooked right now, but we found this piece at Home Goods, um, and I wanted something that didn't fill out the entire space because I wanted shelves, as you can see, and I wanted to be able to reach the shelves. So we still need to drill a hole in the back of this because, as you can see, it's cord mania, and we're having a handyman come to help us hide cords behind, come out, and all that. So this will be like where all the equipment goes, video games, all that. We are gonna paint the top of it, I think maybe a green color. And then I wanna get cooler knobs and maybe bigger knobs, those are so small. But yeah, so we have this piece of furniture, which we love for right in there. And then we made some DIY shelves. So we really wanted, like we wanted this whole complicated thing. We were like, well, let's just pay somebody for like a custom cabinet and shelves. And then we were like, let's not do that. So once we found this piece but of But this is what I wanted, this is what I pictured, and we were able to pull it off ourselves, yeah, which is so cool. Yeah, so we kind of looked into it. Um, we went with brackets because they hold more weight. These, are, everything we got was from Lowe's, and they kind of have like a whole DIY shelf aisle, so if you yes. are wanting to do the same. Um, we might paint the brackets the same color as the wall. Let us know what you think. I Actually, now that like the rainbow shelf of books is up, I don't mind the black as much. I don't mind the black. And I love the rainbow bookshelf so much, I would like to spread it out to two shelves. But so eventually, I would like to have two rainbow shelves, have the rainbow carry across both, and then have decorative stuff up top. But until then, I made like a little decorative shelf in the middle. I like the way it is now. Me too, I just really love the decorative books. And eventually I would even love to, we ha we bought stuff for a fourth shelf, but we didn't put it up yet because I wanted this tall plant to be able to fit. But if for some reason, someday we have a huge library, slap it all here. So are we keeping that stuff for? Yeah, I thought we could put it somewhere else. But yeah, those are our shelves. And that concludes our home updates. Everything is downstairs because the only thing to update you on upstairs is the nursery, and I'm gonna do a whole different video on that. I think I already told you that. But yeah, I wanted to give you a look at the glorious couch. And something else to note, as you can see, it does require fluffing. So this couch requires maintenance, but it's worth it if you want the super comfy couch, because it really is the most comfy. So yeah. start picking up the camera more and, you know, adding to content. So I'm going to start. I probably won't keep up with it, you know, that much and that well, but we're going to start right now. Uh, I got a, I was going to say a fancy grill. It's not even that fancy. I got a Char Griller Acorn Kamado uh, when we moved in the house a few months ago. You know, uh, I wanted a big green egg because it's the in thing to have, but they are very expensive. They're like $800. And Amy, my sister-in-law, Eleni, her brother-in-law is like the ultimate man. He's the coolest guy ever. He runs in triathlons. He brews his own beer. And he told me, he's like, this is the grill I have. It's incredible. I've had it for years. It works great. And he, like, watching his Instagram stories, he's always just making the coolest stuff. So I bought exactly what he has. And now I'm just, you know, trying to get comfortable. The dog is going insane. I know, I know just trying to get comfortable with it and like figure it out, you know, and everything to do with it. So uh, we're gonna make pizzas tonight. And so let's make some pizza dough.
my first attempt at uh, dough didn't rise because the yeast was old. the first Bradley attempt at a vlog. I don't know how it went. Uh, Amy came home from a massage with Katie and I got distraught. I missed my ring. I feel naked about my ring. I knew, I knew this would happen. They came home and I was like, I got distracted and like, I had plans of me shooting like lighting the grill. I don't know, probably boring shit, but just managed to shoot enough, thus ending. Now I have to do ooh, half hour. That's probably too much. At least 20 minutes of dishes. This is gonna be rough. But you know, that's the, I enjoy cooking. I do not enjoy dishes. It's a lot, but we did it. If you stuck out this far for me, you're, that's, you're, you're being way too nice to me, thank you. <laughs>